all right here we are looking at construction of angles how you can construct angles now i want to show you how you can construct angles angle 90 degree angle 60 degree angle 30 degree 45 degree 75 105 and so on that's what you want to do here and i would like you to listen attentively pay attention to every detail so that you can be able to do it as i'm going to do it here now we want to start with the construction of angle 90 degree the first thing that you need to do is to draw a line of any length so this is okay for me so just draw this line so you can call this line you can call it line a b so you can call it line a b okay now so you take your compass so you take your compass so you take your compass so you just put it at the middle of the line so at the middle of the line so if you know the middle maybe you take a line 50 millimeters so the line is 50 millimeters so then put the compass at the middle of the line and draw a semicircle like this so draw a semicircle okay so draw a semicircle as i've drawn it here so this is a semicircle so the semicircle it meets this so this is the center of the line so this is center this is the midpoint of the line so i will call it point c here so the semicircle meets line a b at this point x and this point y okay so the next thing that you need to do is that take your compass and put it at point x extend it to any convenient radius as you can see here so you draw an arc above the line and you take it the same radius to point y here and draw an arc like this now so the arc intersect at this point so we call this point we call it point d okay then join cd together with a straight line so you join cd together with a straight line so this is it all right so this angle so this angle here so this angle is 90 degree so this angle is 90 degree so this is angle 90 degree so we have constructed angle 90 degree even this quarter of a circle is 90 and if you drive you draw it like this this symbol is 90 or represent angle 90 degree now let's look at how you can construct angle 45 degree angle 45 degree so to construct angle 45 degree what you need to do is to divide 90 into two that is called bisection of angle so what you need to do in this case is that so draw a line so draw this line so you repeat what we did for angle 90 so let's call this line we call it line a b so the midpoint so let's call it this is point c so take your compass and draw a semicircle extend to any convenient radius and draw a semicircle like this so this is a semicircle then the semicircle meets line a b at x and y then put your compass at x extend to any convenient radius so you draw an arc then with the same radius bring it to point y draw an arc okay so the arc intersect at point d is it so join cd together with a thin continuous line like this then so this line it meets this semicircle at this point let's call it point z then put your compass at z 
we want to divide this is 90 the whole of this is 90 so the whole of this angle y c z is 90 so put the compass at this point z here and extend to any convenient radius draw an arc like this so we are dividing this angle 19 to two equal parts put the same radius at y and draw an arc so the arc intersect at this point so let's call it this is point e so it joins c e together with a straight line this is it so this angle here is 45 degree so this angle is 45 degree so this is how you can construct angle 45 degree so let's look at how you can construct angle 60 degree angle 60 degree so to construct angle 60 degree so draw a line so let's call it line a b so this is line a b so let's say this is the midpoint of line a b we call it point c so take your compass put it at point c and extend it to any convenient radius like this so just extend it like this so you can see here so put it at put the pinpoint or the compass at point c and you draw an arc like this this is okay now if you look at this arc it's midline a b at this point let's call this point let's call it point x so this radius that I used to draw this arc keep it don't touch it just keep it like this don't touch it so you now put the pinpoint with this radius put the pinpoint of the compass at point x and you draw an arc here on this arc draw an arc let it touch this arc so this arc touch this arc at this point so let's call this point this is point d now join cd together with a straight line join cd together with a straight line so it goes like this so this angle here this angle is 60 degree so you can measure the angle with the use of your protractor so this angle is 60 degree so this is how to construct angle 60 degree now let's construct angle 30 degree angle 30 degree is half of 60 degree so to do that repeat what you did for angle 60 so this is line a b and at the middle so here we have point c so take your compass put it at point c so extend it to any convenient radius and you draw an arc like this so this arc meet line a b at x keep the radius as we did for angle 60 so with this radius put the pinpoint of the compass at point x and you make an arc here so this angle so the arc intersect the previous arc at this point d so we call this angle okay so we draw we join cd together with a thin continuous line like this so this angle is 60 so i bet we need angle 30 so what we need to do is that put your compass or what we need to do is to divide angle 60 into two so you put your compass at this point d so extend to any convenient radius extend to any convenient radius you draw an arc like this so draw an arc so extend this compass to any convenient radius after putting the pay point of the compass at point d you draw an arc like this so with the same radius put it at point x put at point x and draw an arc like this so the arc intersect at this point so this is point e then join c e together with a straight line join c e together with a straight line so this is it so this angle this angle is 30 degree 
So this is angle 30 degree. So this is it. All right. All right, the next angle that we have to construct is angle 75 degree, angle 75 degree. So how will you construct that? So what you need to do is to draw So draw a line, draw a horizontal line like this, and you call it line AB, call it line AB. So this is it. So take your compass, so the midpoint of this line is point C, so I assume that that is the midpoint, okay? So put your compass, the big point of your compass at C and draw a semicircle. Draw a semicircle. We are constructing angle 75 degree. 75 is 60 plus 15. We give us 75. So the radius that used to construct this semicircle, so put it at this point. So this is point X and this is point Y. So put the radius that used to control the semicircle, put it at point Y here, and you make an arc here. So if you remember, we have done this be something similar to this before, something like this before. So we have gotten angle 60 now. We need 15. We have gotten 60. By putting during this arc, you already have 60 degrees. So if I join this point, the point of intersection of the arc and the semicircle and point C together with a straight line, so the angle that I'm going to get is 60 degree. So this has given me 60. So I need 15 degree. So how can I get 15? What you need to do is to take your compass, put it at point X, extend it to any convenient radius, and you draw an arc like this. So with the same radius, put it at Y here, and you draw an arc. So by the time I join this together, so let's call this point, let's call, let's call it point D. So that's point of intersection of the axe. So by the time I join CD together with a straight line, like this. All right. So you should know that the whole of this angle, let me call this point, let me call it point Z. So here we have angle YCZ here. So that is 90 degree. So if I've taken 60 out of this 90, what I have left from here to here is, so let me call this point, let me call it point, um, let me call it point P, let me call this point, let me call it point P. That is the point of intersection of this arc and the semicircle. So now what I have left here, the angle here from P to Z here, so it's 15 degree. It's 15 degree. Sorry, it's 30 degree. It's 30 degree. So this is 60. So this is 30 from here to here from P to Z is 30 degree. So I need 15. So for me to get that 15, I will divide this 30 into 2. I will divide this 30 into 2. So to do that, take your compass, put the pinpoint of the compass at point Z here, and extend to any convenient radius like this. So you draw an arc. So draw an arc like this. The same radius, put it at point P and you draw an arc. Here is it. So let's call this point, let's call it point E. That's the point of intersection of the arcs, which is here. So now, by drawing a straight line from, Z, from C to E, now, so I have this angle. So this angle, this angle here is 75 degree. This is angle 75 degree. So this angle 75 degree is how you get angle 75 degree. So it's as simple as I've explained it here. So the next is to show you how you can draw angle 105 degree. Angle 105 degree is... 90 plus 15 degree, 90 degree plus 15 degree will give me 105. So how will you construct that? So what you need to do 
first is to draw a straight line like this. So we call this line, we call it line AB. This is line AB. So let's put C somewhere here. So this is point C. Now take your compass and draw a semicircle. Take your compass. So draw a semicircle. Don't forget that we are constructing angle 105 degree. So draw a semicircle. Now with the radius that used to construct this semicircle, so this is point X and this is point Y. So put it at point Y here and you make an arc here. So we already have 60. Don't forget what I said before. So we already have 60. But we are constructing angle 105 degree. That's what we are doing. We are constructing angle 105 degree. So now, so we have 60. So put your compass at point X, extend it to any convenient radius. So draw an arc like this. Then with the same radius, put it at Y and draw an arc. Okay. So if I join this point together, this is point D. So if I join CD together with a straight line, with a thin continuous line like this. So I have this to be 90. So to this point, so this is point Z. So I have this angle XCZ to be 90, angle YCZ to be 90. So I have 90 here. I have 90 here. So, and then from here to here, this is point P. So from P to Z, I have angle 30 degrees. So I need 15. So I want to add that 15 to this 90 here. I want to add that 15 to this 90. So if I add that 15 here to this 90, I will get 105. So what, what is next thing to do? So what I need to do is that I put my compass at this point Z here, extend to any convenient radius, draw an arc. So the same radius put at P, and you draw an arc, like this. So the arc intersects at this point E, then join CE together. Join CE together like this. Okay? Now, this angle from here, this angle from here, so let me call this point, let me call it point Q. So this angle from Q here, like this. So that is angle X, C, Q is 105 degree. It's 105 degree. So what you need to do is to watch this video repeatedly. You get it. So you get it. It's simple. You get it. So we have constructed angle 105. So the next angle that I want to construct is angle 120, which is very, very simple. So 120, to get 120, just remove 60 from 180. 180 minus 60 is equal to 120. So that one is very, very simple. So what you just need to do here is to draw a line. So draw a straight line like this. So we call this line, so we call it line AB. So we call it AB. So point C, maybe at the midpoint, then you take your compass, so put it at this point C, and extend to any convenient radius, draw a semicircle. Draw a semicircle like this. So the semicircle meet point line A, B at X and Y. So keep this radius that used to control the semicircle. Then put it, so put the pinpoint of the compass at X with the radius that used to control the semicircle. Then you make an arc here. You make an arc on the semicircle. So this is point D. So this is point D. So I believe that you know that this arc has given us angle 60 degrees. So what I just need to do is that, 
So I put my ruler at this point C and then with point D, I will draw a line from C passing through D. So it goes like this. Okay, so this angle here, this angle we have here is 120 degree. So this is angle 120 degree. So this is how you construct angle 120 degree. So I believe that all that I've explained, I explained here is clear to you. So watch the video consistently and as you are watching it, make sure you are practicing. So this thing is simple. So I really appreciate your uh, attention so god bless you god bless you